Well, switches are among the most powerful blocks in the EV3 language, and we just kind of touched the surface of them right now. One of the first things I want to talk about is um, nesting one switch in an, into another. So, for instance, I could take this switch here and drop it into the middle of another switch. This gets to be a little hard to see on the program, so you can zoom in and out to be able to get the whole thing on your screen. So let's take a look at what this is doing. If the first switch is pushed, then it's go, going to go up here and check the second switch. And if it's pushed, it's going to say fantastic. If it's not pushed, let's have it say good job. And then if one is not pushed, then it's going to go on about its business. This lets you do what in the programming world we call an AND. You're looking at this switch and this switch, and if both of them are pushed, it's going to say fantastic. That uh, might be a very handy thing sometimes in your programming, so it's good to, good to know about. Next thing I want to talk about, I'm going to get rid of this and zoom back in so we can see a little bit better about what's going on. is that switches can be um, um, multiple levels, what they call cases. So, for instance, if I were to go to the color sensor, you'll notice that there's two different items here. Compare, which is pretty, pretty much what we would expect. You can look for a particular light value or a particular color. But if you go to measure and say color, then that gives you a pretty interesting switch because you can select colors for each one of these. Like, let's say, go up here, and the first one is a color, and black. I'm going to say black, because that's, that's what this is set to. I, I, can, I can change that to be anything I want. And now, though, I can hit this little tiny plus, and zoom out, and that gives us another case. So let's say this one is red. So now if I see red, I want to say red. And this other one here will make it a different color. Let's say yellow. Yellow. So now with one switch, I'm able to do three different colors, and I could keep adding them here. This will show up in a couple of different places in the programming language. Um, the light sensor is one of them. Uh, in more advanced cases, it'll show up, for instance, in, in number switches and so on. So you can have a case with a whole bunch of different things here. That would get to be a little bit hard to see if you had a whole bunch. And so the switch has a different mode, which I'm going to zoom in here, which is right here, which is called tabbed view. If you click on it, then it'll switch this into a set of tabs. The switch is doing exactly the same thing, but you can see your multiple cases up here at the top. If you're feeling adventuresome, you can grab this and drag it out. There's some bugs in the language associated with dragging things around, and so if it doesn't work, you'll have to kind of fiddle around. But as you can see, then I can pick each of these different cases and see what's inside it. So right now I picked yellow, and you'll see that I'm looking at the yellow part of the program. I could obviously put lots more blocks in here.